And fire ripped through part of a historic church in southeast Bakersfield today. And 23 ABC's Kelly Johnson joins us now live from the First Community Baptist Church with the damage and plans to rebuild. Kelly? Jackie, the fire completely destroyed the back of First Community Baptist Church. We're in the front, so you can't see the damages. But if you look here, you can see some of the roof has collapsed. You can see the burn scars there. And some of that air conditioning unit you saw that you see there actually fell into the church. Bakersfield Fire Department estimates damages up to $200,000. A devastating fire call Tuesday morning after onlookers spotted smoke coming from a church in southeast Bakersfield. Got a call this morning at 5 o'clock that my sanctuary was on fire. My uh, niece called and said the church is on fire and I just got right up. It took crews more than two and a half hours to extinguish the fire on Anderson and Plants Road. Part of the roof collapsed into the church. There was a large air conditioning unit on the back part of the structure and the fire as it progressed through the attic naturally ventilated itself in that area. So that actually helped the firefighters because it uh, created an opening for the smoke and the uh, heat to exit the structure. For the Edwards brothers, First Community Baptist Church holds deep family history. Uh, my father used to pastor this church in, uh, in 1963. I've been in this church uh, as connected with the church over 51 years. While some of the physical memories are gone, the faithful family says they're glad no one was inside. I'm just glad that no one was in the sanctuary or in the kitchen, the main kitchen, where it caught a fire. Arson investigators are working to determine if the fire is suspicious. Most of the damage is at the back of the church. The social hall and office are destroyed. Shattered glass and burn scars remain. My father built the new structure, which is, uh, is, is still intact. And uh, then he later built the uh, social hall that is, uh, that is uh, burned today. The pastor says instead of dwelling on the damage, he's focused on the future. I'm not worried about the, br the building, the bricks in the building, because it can be replaced. And I know God will replace it. The pastor is hoping to have the lights turned back on in time for Sunday service. If not, he'll gather his congregation at another church. Reporting live from Southeast Bakersfield, Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC. All right.